Hello everyone, it's me. I am back. This is my second video for August. This is going to be a birch box for August. Again, I'm going to go fly through it just to have it on record. I want to make sure that you see all the items in case it's different from your box. And then something that we can have for years to come and come back and say, hey, what did we get in August of 2020? So let's get started. This is the birch box for August. Let me show you the little brochure, whatever's in here. Little saying, do yourself, action also requires the rest. Give yourself the permission to do both. Beautiful. And then we have another. Not sure what they talk about. Okay. Here you go. You can pause it if you want to read this. Thank you, Birchbox. And let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we have a hand sanitizer, which is lovely. You know what? Let me get started with another item because there's another item that I do want to use here before the hand sanitizer. So first things first, we have the Suncatcher Power C Boosting Leave-In Conditioner. Unfortunately, if you've seen my videos, it's a broken record. I'm not using any leave-in stuff for my hair just because, okay, it's going to be another problem, I guess. I don't want to put that away. It looks nice. Okay, I'll just cover it up. So I don't use any of these. So I actually give these away all the time just because it's too heavy for my hair. Um, if I'm not going anywhere, if I'm not doing anything, I don't put any products in my hair at all. I just do masks in the shower and I wash that off. So if I'm not going anywhere, I'm not putting anything in, right? Keeping it natural. But if I am going somewhere, I'm not using this because it's too heavy for my hair. I have very, very fine hair and everything. And it's, lo um, it's long, so it pulls it down. It weights it down. So unfortunately, not for me. I cannot speak on this. I never will. Um, unless my hair changes or something and I'm not going short hair because it's just, it's not my thing for now. Um, so I'm not able to speak on this, but you know, I'm sure there's many videos that talk about this and I just give them away. So I, I don't even want to open this. Next item is the glassy skin balm and this is, um, a touch and soul. Let me open this. I think it's sealed. Yes, it is. Just so you know, it comes sealed. I'm not going to open this because I do have, if you remember, um, one of the, I think it's BoxyCharm because BoxyCharm would be the only one that would send like a nice regular size. BoxyCharm, um, one of the older boxes had this as a regular size. Um, like it looks like a, a little cream um, uh, jar, right? It looks like a cream jar. Uh, so BoxyCharm had this and it felt really nice. I'm like, it wasn't like, oh my goodness, it's so lovely. It was not. I still come back to my Clinique moisturizer cream or lotion. That is my to go to cream. So it is lovely, but nothing to write home about, right? So I'm not even going to open this. I'll just give this away, friends or whatever. Um, we have a Marcel BB cream, light to medium. Very nice company. I love their products. Now, it's a little too dark for me. Medium, light to medium. I tried to say it as one word. I can't even repeat it. If you heard it, you heard it. Oh, come on. I'm trying to ooze it out without making a mess. Can we do that without making a mess here? Yes, we can. Okay. Let me wipe this. It's a little too dark for me. I don't know if you can see that. Well, actually, it might not be. Let me try it again. The only thing is, while I'm trying this again, just to see how it looks on my skin with this lighting and not on camera, because obviously I'm looking at the camera to see how it pops on your camera. Yeah, it's a little too yellowy for me, possibly. Light to medium. I think it's somebody who's a little bit, not on the fair side, but a little darker. I'm very fair. I'm I'm at a point where I'm possibly like porcelain, right? Zero, zero. If you use a Bobbi Brown, I'm either, I'm not as far as double zero, but I'm a zero, which is porcelain. I think, um, I forgot the name, it starts with the A. Forgot what the double O, um, double zero in Bobbi Brown is. But I would say this is more somebody on... I think it's either ivory or sand, which is one or two. So um, not for me, but I do love this. Uh, and it's on the light side, which 
I don't like the light side. I would rather either have no makeup at all or I just use regular foundation like normal coverage on medium coverage. But uh, it's a little too light for me. Um, but it's a very nice and it feels so smooth on your skin. Um, very lovely. So yay for Marcel. Next item is the Arrow Cooling Cheek tint and this is from Birchbox itself so this is their own brand uh let me try it let me open this I'm not a big fan of their brand I don't I'm not sure why they're trying to go with this because um it's not high quality and if I wanted it on the cheap there's items that are cheaper than Arrow right so let me show you very very pink this looks like I don't know if you can see this looks even darker than my nail polish this is darker. This is like bubblegum Barbie pink. And this should be on the cheeks. I think it's a little too strong. Maybe I took a little bit too much for this. Let me wipe this and see if I can try to do it again. Um, yeah, it's a little bit too much. I barely put any. So this will go a long way. I don't know if you can see it's right, right here. Let me try it on here. Just different lighting. Can you see that? It's, nah, yeah, I'll skip this. This is not mine. I'll skip this. It's a little bit too much. A little, very little goes a long way, uh, but it's just not my thing. I enjoy layering rather than putting on the regular amount. So I'd rather have, uh, I would rather have no pigment and then layer it, layer it, layer it, than actually have to either accidentally put too much or you know subtract or take away from it so it's unfortunately not for me but maybe else somebody else will like this um next item is vasanti and this is brighten up and this is a love my hand cream i tried this yesterday at night oh excuse me keeps keep, keep touching the camera as you can see it's been a while so i've been out of touch with this it's been two and a half months um it's clear or white I do love the smell I I cannot describe how the smell if you ever been to Paris that's how it smells like if you ever if you ever been you know what if it smells like herbal essence forget Paris no it's not I confused it with another product it smells like it's very nice it's very um, soft it smells like herbal essence if you ever had one of those shampoos it's a very lovely smell. Well, I don't know why I'm showing you my hand. You can't see anything. But it's a very beautiful... It's kind of fruity, but it's not. It's not overwhelming at all. But I actually enjoy this very much. This is a nice smell. And then the last item is... A hand sanitizer. Which is awesome. I'm not sure what's up with the sticker... Let me see if I can, yeah, I'd rather take it off because it's like in a way. And it's a nice packaging, as you can see. And then a hand sanitizer. Let me try the hand sanitizer with you because I did not try it yesterday. Wanted to be surprised. I figured I'll try it on with you. I'm just removing any stickiness that was left from the label that I took off just now. Bear with me because once I throw it out, I throw it out and I don't want to touch it again. Beautiful packaging, and let me see how this works. Okay, it's sealed, but I'm gonna open this because this is very handy. Who's not using hand sanitizer right now? Everybody. Oh, it's really sealed. Ugh. Oh, come on. Okay, fine. Oh, finally got it out, but you guys, it oozed everywhere else so it is clear like any other hand sanitizer let me smell this okay yeah no not my thing um it's a weird smell you guys i'm not feeling this at all it smells like specific flower but it's very heavy on the scent so I'm not loving this. I will be using this because it's a hand sanitizer. 
So it's very, you know, it's in handy right now, especially, but not my smell, very strong flower smell to the point of being like obnoxious. And I would not offer this to a gentleman. So if I'm in the, in the company of a gentleman and I usually have like a lavender or, you know, like a lemon scent or even coconut, I'll, I'll give that obviously. But this is, is a little too much, a little too strong. Uh, very heavy on the flower. I don't know which flower, but it's a little bit obnoxious smell. So you guys, here you go. These are all the items from Birchbox for August 2020. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, if you want me to go into detail on something specifically, uh, once I use it a few times, let me know in the comments and I'll reply back. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. I have another two more boxes for uh, August and then we're going to move on to September. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.